Alright guys, in this video we're going to be talking about one on pull-up training for heavier and taller people So let's dive right into today's video And before starting off this video, I do want to give you guys my stats So you guys actually know what I'm actually talking about I'm currently weighing in at about 84 kilograms and I'm 185 centimeters tall or 6 feet Which means that I'm pretty much in the category of the heavier and the taller athletes out there And I'm also training for one on pull-ups So I pretty much know pretty well what I'm actually talking about Let's start off we're actually talking about expectations and setting the right goals. Without any kind of proof or research, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that a big reason for people to be unhappy with their progress is that they set themselves unrealistic goals. They set themselves a goal to achieve in a certain time frame that wasn't achievable in that time frame to begin with. And so what happens, they simply make progress but not as much progress as they wanted to, which leads them to be unhappy with their training. And if you are someone that is heavy heavier or taller than the average person, I'm going to simply break a myth for you and spit some facts right here, right now. If you are taller or heavier than the average person, it is going to take you longer to achieve certain calisthenics exercises compared to if you were shorter and weighing less. That is simply because calisthenics is all about relative strength. And this goes for any kind of exercise or any kind of skill. So we're talking about back lever, front lever, planche, one arm pull up, or any of those kind of exercises where relative strength is very, very important. What I want you to do is to think about what I just said, let that sink in and start accepting the fact that if you are heavier or taller, it simply is going to take you much longer than if you were shorter and weighing less. And then from there, set yourself more realistic training goals, more realistic targets, therefore you're probably going to be much more likely to achieve them and be much more happier with your training. And with that being said, now let's talk about the training itself. If you are heavier or taller than the average person, if it comes to your training, not that much changes apart from the fact that it simply is going to take you longer than if you were shorter or weighing less. And the simple reason for that is because if you are taller or heavier, you're still a human being. You still react the exact same to training stimulus and stress placed upon you like the average person would. Length and body weight doesn't impact that whatsoever. So just like if you were lighter or shorter, the main focus of your training should be the assisted one on pull up variations that I've actually talked about in previous videos and then you should be combining that with any kind of accessory exercise like weighted pull-ups, explosive pull-ups or any kind of pull-up variation like normal pull-ups, right grip pull-ups, archer pull-ups or any other kind of exercises. On top of that, you should also be striving to progressively overload your training, do the vast majority of your work in strength specific rep ranges, aka one to five reps, and hitting you on a pull up training about twice a week. If you actually want to know more about weighted pull ups and this is the one on pull ups, make sure to check out my previous videos because I've actually made a couple of videos talking about all those exercises in the last couple of weeks. So if you want to know more, definitely make sure to check out those videos. But for now, this actually is going to be the end of the video. So if you if you guys have any more questions, video ideas or advice, let me know down below in the comment section, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video as always on a Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, 3 videos a week, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, laters.